Every day, a YouTube hobo emerges from his mother's basement and decides to bless us with sharing his existential life with us. God, I had one chance. Even the proper pronunciation of that word was the wrong word I needed. Oh, I should be fired. Still, I'm professional enough to recognize failure when I see it, and I'm tired of seeing it. In every single YouTube review, I got five tips for you bozos. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I watch YouTube to learn. It's basically college to me. It's a higher level than college. College is full of brainwashing and lies. YouTubers, they're dumb, but they mean well. They're teaching you what they think is the truth. They're wrong, but they could be right. If I'm thinking of pouncing on a purchase, I wanna see somebody review it, show me everything I need to know in one video, just boom, there it is. Okay, I am gonna buy it. Do you have an affiliate link? They don't work in Canada? Sorry, sorry. I'll click it though, but every day I am cursed with the same blueprint YouTuber from his big brother's handbook of YouTube hobos. And he's just copying the same format. The first format that needs to die a quick death is the colored lights in the background. Stop. There's not beauty back there. It, it, don't you dare say it. It got better, didn't it? Oh, I can't wait to use this more often. It just seems like every single show, it's the same ass blue and red light. Some people actually put on the setting that waves through the colors. Do you have any idea how distracting that is? Especially when you do a jump cut. It's like, oh, it's going to purple. Oh, cut to orange, ow. Don't wave at me with your colors. Admittedly, I'm in a living room. There's not much I can do here. I'm handicapped hard. I've had much better sets, but I have a girlfriend now. I can't just put the camera this way and film this much more interesting side and have lights in the middle of the living room. Gotta give me a break. How did the Fuji out of focus? It just looks so metrosexual. What the hell is it? Are you a robot from Zion? Get a life. Where's the wood? Where's the wood and plants? Give me a dream back there, asshole. The best YouTube studio I've ever seen, I think. So unique. GX Ace. You've probably never heard of this guy. He's like in a spaceship, in the Matrix. He's on Zion, and he's meeting his people. That is genius. I wish I thought of it. I didn't. Don't copy him. Make your own spaceship. Fly up to the dome, see if you can escape. You can't, it's flat. We've spent way too much time on this point, and I am leaving the lights on, because I love them. So don't listen to anything I say. My next complaint. You're reviewing a camera here. I'm hoping to see the quality of it, and then you render your video at 10 megabits per second if it was a foot. Destroying the footage, the original footage that we needed to archive. People take all the time in the world, they're filming in 4K 60p. It's like, all right, everything exposure. Twisting the ND, oh wow, this is perfect. And then you go and render your perfection video in 10 megabits. Let me just show you an example of what happens to good people when they do that. Next to me is a hobo bitch who doesn't appreciate that files can be large and your audience expects nothing less. If you render too low a megabit rate per second rate, it looks bad, it just doesn't look right. How's the audio? How's the audio on the GoPro before? There better not be popping. I swear to God, Corzine. I swear to God if there's any popping on this. We're in 5K. I'll leave. What I've been doing for a long time now, I film in 1080p, I put it on a 4K timeline, I render it in 4K. I know there's a way to like up res. I don't give a shit about any of that. I res it, oh God. I render it at H.265 at 40 megabits per second, which is an 80 megabit equivalent. And that's the lowest you should ever do. That's a good sweet spot. You won't get the blocky Minecraft stuff. Maybe YouTube will F it later. They'll, they'll take a bite. I guarantee you, Philip Bloom, every video he's ever released is like 300 megabits per second. Something unridiculous, unridiculous. That guy goes to the extra effort. That's not even English. None of this has been English so far. I just noticed that every video, thank you so much, Philip. 
He can be reviewing the worst camera on earth, but he'll get the most out of it. And it ain't gonna be his fault that it looks like crap. It, not saying hobo. It was a compliment. And this doesn't count as a review, hobo. Oh, look at the 4K footage. I was planning on buying a camera to walk along the sidewalk in your neighborhood. It doesn't count. Stop doing it. How's the footage look? How's the 5K footage? Is the megabits more noticeable as we move? It is. Oh, there's pigeons. Oh, a dog chasing pigeons. Oh, this is good footage. That brings us to the dreaded walking in your neighborhood review. Well, look at this. Yeah, that's what we're buying cameras for, to just walk. Every single review, mostly smartphones, side by side and portrait orientation, whatever that is, this just looks like I'm grabbing nipples. Every time a new camera or a phone is released, I'm just hoping somebody's vlogging with it outside somewhere. I wanna see what does a face look like? How's the stabe? Like, can you do that for me? Every smartphone reviewer, if they do a vlog section, it's only on the front face and cam. The worst cam ever. Oh, I can see myself if you want a vlog. It's a 10 second clip. Flip it around, dickhead. Show me the ultra wide that's got the biggest sensor. That's what it's made for. Show us something fun. Why are you just walking in your neighborhood? It's very clear. You received the box and then you walked outside your house and said, here's a flower. That's what the, oh, here's a building. There's my girlfriend. Here's her next boyfriend. Oh no, do you, do you want the picture? I'll send it to you. Can I have my sweater back? No? Oh boy. Your pictures suck, hobo, and your stupid slow motion of the water fountain. Oh, every time. Why do you, why is there so many fountains in every city? That's all, oh, water would look cool. It doesn't, and especially at your low megabit renders, you piece of sh <laughs>
It wasn't even. For those curious, for some reason, we've just stopped it down to Tony 2, and that's a 2.1 equivalent. Is that true? Is that blurrier on the Sony? It better not be. Oh, Voidy Lander. I kept your promise, I kept it. And most of your stuff. I love it all. I sell some, sometimes, but I buy other things. I'll go. There's so many vlog style reviews that just, I don't, it boggles my mind. I don't understand it. Whenever I make a review, I try to come up with a subject, even if I'm like trying to test one lens, say we're doing Sony 35 mil, maybe I wanna talk about Sony colors the whole video while we test a lens. So you add two aspects here. You're testing a lens and talking about something related not like I'm going to get pizza, bro. You're reviewing a lens. I don't want to hear about your sister's hemorrhoids or your dad's car. Oh, we got a new bumper, bro. Look, we're in eight minutes as you installing a bumper on your dad's dumbass car. So to sum things up, try to film something interesting instead of your neighborhood. Walk that extra mile. Render the video in a high megabit rate so we can see the actual quality, not your dumbness. Don't put a colored light back there, like I mistakenly did, even though it looks amazing. Take, I should have wrote these down and stopped. Why did I cross them off? I can't see them now. Don't share your random ass thoughts with the world. We want to see the camera. Start a vlog channel about that. You'll get 300 subs one day and that will be your life. Thank you for it. Just keep that shit separate. You have a life channel and then a something else specialty channel. That's what I've done. I review things. I'm a professional. I'm gonna go after you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and affiliate links for all the gear today. It's always down there and I got a shop. Just click on something, you know? Subscribe for our video, see you on there.